Guys, what's going on? It is Dylan, and today I am here with an Adobe After Effects tutorial for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make any graphic or text react to any audio like this. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see here in my finder, I have three files here that are the um, root elements to work with. So we have a graphic, we have some music, an audio file, and we have a video file. And guys, you can use a graphic, doesn't matter if it's a ping with transparency in the background, which I prefer because it just makes it look nice and neat over a video file. And then also you could use a JPEG. Um, pretty much any graphic that you can insert into a video editing program and then also um, you could just use a text element like where you put in text here in After Effects or a title so but in my case in this instance we're going to use a graphic but do keep in mind you could just um, whatever we're doing to this you could just do that to text here in After Effects so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all three of these elements and put them over here in my project bin and then what we're going to do first is we are going to drag down the graphic. Then we're going to drag down the music. And I guess it really doesn't matter what order you drag these down in. You just have to make sure that your graphic file is above your video file because it works in layers from bottom to top. Just as you see from top here with the graphic to the video at the bottom layer. So let's get started on this. So now that we have all three uh, items in down here in our timeline, what we want to do is we want to first set up the music. So we're going to find our music, which is an MP3 here. We're going to right click and we're going to go to keyframe assistant and we're going to click convert audio to keyframes. Now what that did is it created this audio amplitude layer and within that it created a bunch of keyframes that are in direct relation to um, both volume and um, the beat of the music, so to speak, yeah, um, kind of in... Uh, layman's terms way it reacts to the music and it's set so this whole mp3 that i have here has keyframes for it made um, in a nutshell that's what's going on so now we're going to click on the little down arrow on this audio amplitude layer that was created down arrow by effects and this left and right channel we really don't need them so i'm just going to click on left and hit delete key on my keyboard click on right and delete those are for like you know if you have for audio panning and mixing where you have stuff coming out the left ear or the right speaker um, just really don't need those we just have have a good old stereo mix with left and right so well, i just deleted those now um you just want to go ahead and click this down arrow on both channels and that's all we need to worry about for now on this audio amplitude and of course, guys, you can pause this video, rewind. Um, I know it's a lot to digest at first, but after you do this a few times, um, you will have it down. So now let's move on to our actual um, graphic here or text layer, if you made one, that we're going to make react to the music. So we need to go right here to graphic, and we're going to click the down arrow. Then you'll see transform. We're going to hit the down arrow. And then here on scale, basically what we're doing is, is we're making this scale according to the beat from these keyframes. So we need to tie in the scaling of this image to the keyframes of this beat. So don't worry, it's not as bad as it sounds. So on scale here, you're going to want to um, hit and hold down the Alt Option key on your keyboard. So I'm holding that down and then click on scale. And you'll notice it brings up these four little icons. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do here is this little swirly looking guy it looks kind of like a snail what you're going to do is you're going to left click hold down and drag to slider here which is the effects the keyframes from your music so now watch what happens when we play this now notice that it's playing but it made my graphic or layer considerably smaller so how do we fix this to where it's regular size and bigger like we want it Okay, so here again on scale, when we've clicked on this, just single clicked it, you'll see this little line of code, you can click on it and it'll bring it up. You don't wanna delete or erase any of it, but what you want to do is this, you wanna do space plus square bracket, and you want to type in 100 
comma 100 as your x and y values there we go so space plus space square bracket 100 comma 100 square bracket and that's your x and y values um, and I'll show you what how, what that has to do with this and how it ties in so now if we get out here you'll notice that that basically that x said that man we need to make this his his graphic or text layer 100% like it was and um, it'll it'll go to 100%. So now when we play this, you can see that it's bigger. And if you like that and you're good with it, you can actually stop right there and you can export this out. But I personally want my graphic to just be more reactive to the louder beats, um, like the kick drum, the bass, whenever it hits. So like, I don't want it moving so much until right about now when that you know when that hit so here's how you can do this so back over here under your audio amplitude right here under where, to the left of slider where you have your keyframes again you're going to hold down alt option and click on it and then it brings up this line of code for it you're going to highlight that and you're going to delete it and we're going to type in ease and then call open parenthesis value comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero end parenthesis so again that's ease parenthesis value comma zero comma zero comma zero comma zero now let me explain to you what these are and what we need to do here so this first one is what at what level or point do you want your graphic to start reacting to those keyframes and so I found that if you're wanting it to mainly just dance or move to kind of the more hard-hitting beats that you need to put that as a minimum of 20 and about a maximum here on the next one at 50 and then this so that's basically it's kind of like a low and a high if you will as far as like how hard you want it to react and then this is at what range, which we want to keep at 0 to 100. And so now notice what happens when we play it. See how it's not moving as much right now? But watch. Now it's, it started bouncing more to the beat. Watch again. So anyways, guys, and then of course you could set it as a longer music MP3. Again, you could use a text element or a JPEG, whatever you want. But that is how you make any graphic or text layer respond to audio. And if you're wondering, just in case you're wondering, the whole video thing, I could have just left it a black screen. I just put that night lapse or time lapse back there just for visual elements, just to make it look kind of cool. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button if you liked it. And if you want to see more Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial videos, please smash that thumbs up button. And guys, please be sure to subscribe as I will have more After Effects tutorials more Premiere Pro, got a lot of drone stuff, um, camera reviews, GoPros, just all kinds of techie goodies. And uh, so anyways, I enjoyed it and uh, we will see you guys in the next video.